What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Feet Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube and I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Toronto time. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. And if you are able to support me on Patreon and help me continue this work, I would be most grateful. Join my Discord and get notifications for when I go live on Twitch and catch the next stream for today's episode. Uh, I am playing some round four tournament practice followed by the weekly Discord Q&A. So check it out. Guys, where are we at in the tournament? In, let me just close the chat box for a second. In the first position, we have JJ Bra at 62 points. Congratulations, JJ, on getting a perfect game with the zombies. I'm sitting in second at 61 points. Had I not dropped those last two points in my zombies game, it might be a different situation. In third, tied for third place, we have Conaway and Agent P at 57 points each. And then we have single, singly on his own, Darkheart, 6871, in fourth place. And then we have a four-way tie, sorry, in fifth place. And then we have a four-way tie for sixth place between Archie Munch, Chuppy, Omakoki, and Raging Dino. Um, congratulations to all of those who are still alive in the tournament. Let's see who made it. Let's see who made it. That jumps out to me. Silent Legend, still alive at the cutoff. Same with Sterling. We have Rufus and Doofus we've played. Cosmic Cowboy, 38 points, looking good. Papa Duck is still here. Milk Fat was the guy you guys said? We'll see. We'll see if we connect. I'll have to watch out. Nice to see Marin. Nice to see King John. Von Agarwal, doing very well at 44. Um, Von and I have our... Uh, interview show scheduled for today, so you'll get to learn more about him. Sin the Dark, defending champion, um, 45. Legatus, finished uh, second place, the season Marin won. We got Tim. If Tim makes it to the finals, he'll be back to back to back finals. Vicky Dix, awesome. So, some real heavy hitters alive in this game. You love to see it. Now let's get into some round four practice, shall we? Okay, so I asked folks in my chat if they are going to practice with me to please minimize the stream because it is fog and because it's 70, the settings are super fragile to any extraneous information. We're gonna start right now. Everybody please ready up because uh, I don't wanna have to reset the game. Let's go, One, two, three. Four, five, and ready up. Okay, so settings for round four. 70% fixed on modern Spain with fog and blizzards. I love, love these settings. One of the more important things to note is your vision becomes very limited very quickly. So there's a ton of inference you have to do to figure out who is where. I'm in position three. All right. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of stupid, stupid shit with these settings. And part of it seems stupid based on limited information. So based on all that, I need to find myself a position and quickly. Okay, we see Johnny in the middle of the board. Do we see him make more than one attack? We do. Okay, Johnny made two attacks. Now we have Magenta. What does one shot do? Thank you, Jimmy J, for the prime sub. Much, much, much appreciated, sir. I'm grateful for all the assistance from all of you. So very grateful.
Okay, Purple says well played, and then Purple tries to nego and the Magenta tries to say okay. So I assume, okay, and we have a response from Dude, so I assume Magenta is next to Orange. Cool. This is all very interesting. You can wait a turn. I actually want him to have that, but I don't want to lose my two. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put the five into the three. Let's see how patient. I know Panties isn't patient, but let's see how patient he can be. Right? We're, we're certainly not going to roll a six stack to get a plus two. That makes no fucking sense. He's going to take that instead. My hope here is that purple goes here, panties goes here, orange or whoever takes that, and then I get these two. I get Aragon and Valencia. We'll see. Rip sticker. Thank you, Rip. Thank you, thank you. Hey, What are the bonuses? Yeah, let's check it out, guys. Let's check out the bonuses on Modern Spain. You have four two for twos. You have Basque Country, Euskadi, plus two, Extremadura, the Canary Islands, and Ceuta and Melilla, each worth plus two. And then you have five three for threes, Galicia. Aragon, Catalonia, Valencia, and the Balearic Islands. Okay, Purple takes that instead. Wouldn't have expected that, but I can still work with it. Now, who gets that, though? So this side of the board is very expensive. You also have three large bonuses. You have Asturias for 10, Madrid Castilla La Mancha at 6, and Andalusia is plus 8. Dude just lost a 4. Did Johnny start with anything? He only started with 3. Okay, so Johnny now has this. Okay. Magenta gets extra plus 3 on their second turn. I'm guessing Magenta is here in Galicia. And I'm guessing that yellow, that uh, purple has that as well. Okay. Let's see if purple has two plus threes, because that'll be very good for them. Yeah, yeah, they know. They know I'm not messing with them. Orange takes it. Okay. So we have white, orange, and purple. Cool. I give Panties uh, Basque Country. He already has Ciuta Melilla. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. He's in two positions. So I have a really good sense of where people are. I like that. Okay. Purple takes second bonus. Purple Silent Legend? Yeah. Well, there we are. Everyone in this game is good, too. That's another thing that's going to skew my practice. I probably should be doing practice with more mediocre players. Because they will play significantly different on these settings. I feel like everyone in this game is like a Grandmaster. Johnny is a Grandmaster, yeah. One Shot is a Grandmaster. Yep. Everyone in this game is a Grandmaster. Dude is. Yep. And Explosive Amplitude, aka Daily Panty Sniffer, and Silent Legend for sure. So it's an all Grandmasters practice game, which is a non representative practice game, just so y'all know. All the players in this game are in round four. Awesome. Everyone's practicing for real.
I'm just consolidating my troops now in my position. Thank you, single mothers. Pete! What's up? How are you? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tilda says the best kind of mother. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're a ridiculous human being. When was round three? Round three was last Wednesday, and I'm also playing this Wednesday. So I'm trying to get my practice in now because I'm playing like 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. Sure hope I don't stay up too late Tuesday night. Kenny F.A. with the gift subs. Thanks, bro. How did round three go? You can check the spreadsheet or you can watch the YouTube video that I'm posting this afternoon. Hey, Stable Genius, thank you for the biddies. Ooh, Magenta loses a four stack in the center. And Jonathan, give me some head head, says, I would like to hit your eight stack, Pete, and see what's behind it. Okay. Hey, thank you, Matevsky. Thank you, thank you. What is Magenta going to do here? Hit me a little bit? No worries. Bobby9265, good morning, Pete, another person found you through the YouTube algorithm and loving your shows the last couple weeks. I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad. Welcome, guys. You honor me. Panny's okay, getting one, one troop on me. Silent Legend also getting two troops on me. Okay, Silent is, is in the best position, I think. Okay, Johnny wants to trade with me in the middle, or he wants to take the bonus. What if I gave him the bonus, but took his other... Would that trigger a suicide? I kind of want to try it because he seems to want this this plus six. So would he be willing to trade a plus three for it? Let's see. He says, well played. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Everything will trigger suicide. See, I don't think anything will trigger suicide with GMs. 
with a more diverse skill level, yeah, I think GMs are on balance a lot more patient. So Johnny lost three troops worth of equity, but has the potential to gain six in the future. And he knows that I know that he's there. So hopefully that was successfully negotiated. But we don't know. Okay, more Silent Legend goes for the kill. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Johnny says, good luck. At least we know Silent's not stream sniping. Yep, gets a 10 set. Yep. Ooh, baby. <laughs> we sure do see some fireworks there. All right. One shot with eight troops coming in. And, and a 10 set. Who's he killing? Okay, we see moves. We see him taking moves. This is good. Let's see it. Okay, he's moving. There we go. He's going to kill Silent Legend. Succeeds. Okay, first bounty. One shot kill Silent Legend. Now what happens? Sets in, gets the 10 set. Kills Johnny. Yes. Fuck. This game is over. Yep, and that's a GG. As I said, extremely, extremely fragile settings. Let's go on to another practice. I would like, um, if you wouldn't mind, folks, anyone who has played, to step out and let other people play so we can get as many folks in these practice games as possible. The supply can never seem to meet the demand, so... And, and you know I would love to play with everyone. We got JJ, we got Quatch, we got General Coon, we got Parlox, and we got Von Agarwal for game two. Everybody please ready up. Yeah, no more bounties there. Everyone ties for lowest. It's rough. These these are going to be low scoring. <laughs> the doll IP. What's up, Risk Taker? I managed to catch you live. You're one sexy caffeine addicted motherfucker. Who, me? <laughs> oh, Panties wants to do push-ups. Okay, um, let me catch that. It's fog, though. Like, ooh, this blizzard is super significant. The Cadiz blizzard? All right, let me see if I can, if I can fit some push-ups in. I really need to watch the board is the problem. Especially in the early game. It's all right, I'll play at a handicap. Okay, I didn't actually get to see what Parlox did. <laughs> well, this start is nuts. This start is actually nuts.
I like going last. I like getting the extra troops in fixed. I also like seeing what other people do. Bill says maybe the best start possible. It's quite a good start, eh? This looks like quite a good start. I lose a three stack. Okay, so I'm basically in the top right. But because I go last, I have access to six extra troops on my first turn. Which is just phenomenal. Let's see what green does. I think green takes Aragon and lets me have my man. This is this is fucking great. Yeah. You give them a well played for that. The game gives you an extra troop if you're in the fourth seat, and it gives you uh, two extra troops if you're in the fifth seat, and it gives you three extra troops if you're in the final seat. To help make up for the fact that you get attacked first. I think it should scale depending on... Um, the size of the board as well. Of course I wanted to take a third bonus, but Parlox was there. M. Sabel caught you live. Your tips and knowledge have changed my risk game. Missed round four this year. Ah, well, next next season, man. Next season, you'll get it. I'm so curious who's here. We've got extra troops. JJ got seven, and Vaughn got six to start. Alex also has a bonus already, so him having another bonus here is bad. But if I slam into Parlox, he'll certainly suicide into me. Surely he wouldn't roll a six stack. Surely he would roll a six stack. I'm almost certain he's skill guarding that. Sorry, JJ got seven, Vaughn got eight. What does Vaughn have? Vaughn probably has all of this. Where would but then where would JJ be? JJ's here? Can't see enough of the board. That's my that's the downside of having this position. Ah. 
So Pollux must be here then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Pollux is just all here. JJ is. We just don't have enough information. Oof! White getting plus 11. What do they have? The bottom bonus? Yeah, they have the bottom. White is here. If Parlox has White Trap there, then I gotta figure he breaks it. Yeah, I'm not letting you have plus 11. What am I, out of my mind? <laughs> Come on, that's ridiculous. Just let you win the game? Please let me win the game. <laughs> so White removes this pocket. Thank you, Varelli, for the sub. I do appreciate the support. If white blinds me, I expect white to blind me. This is a practice. Okay, Von sits in with a 10. Retakes his bonus and I think passes. Doesn't even bother. So all of this is gone. Could have seen that coming. If Von says good game.
Hey, JJ's in there. Where do you suppose Parlox is, though? I'll never know. And I fail the kill? And that is that. All sorts of mistakes you see. In this case, it was mine. Who wins? Whoever's lined up, I think Green wins. Well, maybe Von, Von beats him to it. Let's see if he, if he saw what happened. They're so hard, these settings. Yeah. Okay, JJ kills Parlox. Sets. Okay, does Vaughn go for a walk? Hmm. Okay. I'm actually no worse off than when I started. Okay. Well, that was an easy turn. Hmm. Ten set as well. Mertz, hey Pete, recently found out you're streaming, love to see your videos on YouTube and watching you the past month. What's up, man? How's it going? Okay, JJ has 40% of the board. One's going for the kill on white, I think. No. Doesn't move the stack back to block. Yeah, General Quatch is, is weak, but he has a set. It's a 10 set. Okay, where's that going?
try and kill me. No. Takes out the pocket. Does the same thing that Vaughn did to me. Okay. That's fine. I think this one's going to be low scoring again. I feel like green has the most troops by a lot. Man, I love these settings. They're <laughs> really tricky. Holy shit. Just going for the kill. Misses. Misses. I don't think he has it. Oh shit. Oh shit. How many troops did you just shove in there though? That's a kill. Yes. All right. That's a kill. Did I get the low set. What am I at? 54? I think I win. I think I just win.
Bam. Got him. Person of Bounty. Fuck yeah. Okay. Let's hope that happens. <laughs> After I fucked up uh, killing Parlocks too. Shit. All right, guys. Well, that felt pretty good. We're going to do one more practice game before I go on to the Q&A. So if you still haven't played today, let's get you in a game. All are welcome, but please sit out if you've played today. And I'll be right back. All three of you have played today. Oh, that's too bad. We don't have listening skills. That's better. Oh, man. My nerves are shot. I think something about 70% just makes me... Whew. Okay. I'm not savage. I, I said it. You didn't hear me, maybe, but I said it. Um, For the third game... I think this will be the last practice for today. Everybody, please ready up. I removed players because they've already played today, and I can't possibly meet the demand. More people want to play with me than I have hours in the day, so I'm trying to get at least a spot for anyone who has a shot. If it's first come, first serve, that's cool, but let's make sure that everyone gets a chance. Right? We won't do redos in the same day. Okay. I am in the final position again, but my start is not quite as juicy. However, that looks pretty cool. I can go one, two, three, four in the middle bonus. Someone might break me. So I gotta take it carefully. Is there another small bonus I can take in the interim? Not really. Not really. Okay. I think my play is to take the middle. No one's going to have this. It's going to be on either sides of it. Whoever has this position can guard, holy fuck, can guard two point here and have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoever wins this fight wins the game, right? These blizzards structure off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bonus on two positions. Those blizzards are fucking broken. Then again, I can get the same thing, right? I can get plus six from holding this, but I have to guard four positions. Okay, white's moving in. Maybe we don't see it. Maybe we see it stabilize. Yeah, white's aggressively moving in. Okay. I blame Drew for all those commands in the chat. Okay, Magenta looks like they would like a large bonus. Hmm. I don't know what to do here because this one makes sense too.
Let's see how that goes. Dogboy369, Pete just wanted to stop by and say hi, found your vids on YouTube and got you back in the game. And you've managed to nab a win or two. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, man. And white is moving in. Okay. Only started with three, though. They're being contested. Chanta starts with three. It's good. There's a lot of war here. A lot of war in that jackpot. Once we see someone win it, they'll win the game. But for now, players are still jockeying for position. Roll 7v2 and split. And connect. So I get my troops in my actual target. Who are we playing with? Lord Commander from Isle of Man is a Grandmaster 303 on the World Leaderboard. We got Plopper from Norway as an intermediate. 161,000. DZG Unknown from USA as a beginner. Mitevsky, also from Norway, 250. Thou, as a beginner. Black Death, Magenta, USA as an intermediate. And myself. Okay. Okay. Now we're fucking talking. I actually don't think I take it so quick. I think I need to slow my roll a bit. If I get too scary, everyone slams into me. I need to make sure that they slam into me as late as possible. Shkrelex, yo, good morning, Pete. What's up, Simute? How you doing, bro? Just playing a little tournament practice. DK Bullseye. How's it going, man? Welcome. Okay, Black Death getting an extra two. It's a cart there. Yeah. Trying to ask him if he'll let me hit that territory. Alright, and black player starting with six troops. 
So I have a plus three, and I got the ten set on three again, baby. Feeling good. This game is so niche, only one other guy streaming right now? Oh yeah. We have our uh, we have a nice good little thing going here in Risk. All right, and then Blue does finally take the Canaries. And push out to guard. They're worried about me breaking. Okay, where did White start? Only with three, so White's doing a bunch of attacking here. If Magenta sees that, Magenta can probably take that pocket. I don't have access to it. Purple still holds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have the here and here, I think. Purple has, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they have a plus three. They have here and here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, they're here. Mm-hmm. Okay, does magenta hit white? Or do we see white kind of now having a bunch of material here? Hey, Pete, how do you... Do your player troop count have different shapes? It's called colorblind mode. So you have to go into your settings, but not in-game. Outside of game settings, you turn colorblind mode on, which turns all of the pucks different shapes and then you can turn the intensity down to zero. So you still get your normal colors, but uh, you know, folks who might be colorblind can see. Okay, Magenta is gonna take the pocket. This puts Magenta in a winning position. Two point guard. I get the kill on white. Certainly not going to let Magenta just win the game. They actually can't hurt me meaningfully either. Moist Critical says, as someone who's colorblind, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm actually not sure what the instance of colorblindness is in the population, but there's enough folks that benefit from being able to see what the fuck's going on, right? As soon as I realize, I'd be like, yeah, of course. Plus, it doesn't bother me at all visually. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> now you just have to find a way to enable the regular blind folks. Yeah, I don't know if, if Risk would be their game, for better or worse. <laughs> All right, did we see Purple get troops? Eight troops. So Purple has the Suta Malilla and Extra Medora. And then a lot of people are down here. Okay, how does Magenta hit me? They, they break this for sure. Do they hit the seven? No, they just break that for sure. That makes sense to me. I like things that make sense. Blue has a seven there still. I have a sneaky seven backup. Oh, and purple's there. Okay, so purple sees what's happening. Okay. 
Okay. I think... I do that. No set. Magenta should be happy with this. Black 11. Is that their only position? Yeah, I think that's Black's final position. So I think Black dies now. Blue gets seven. So blue's fighting here. Okay, so we have magenta, black, blue, and purple. I think I can probably figure out how to win this now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Blue wants to see what's going on. They hit a four to do it. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Magenta, or uh, probably it's an eight stack. That doesn't make sense. That is just an objectively bad move. Okay. Yeah, magenta kills black. No, there's more black somewhere. Good to know. Cool. So black is here. Let's go get him. Get the black hill. We're sitting at 45% of the board. Forty-seven percent of the board. I'm going to lose all this middle material. Oh, and I only get a six set with my Joker. Damn. It was close, though. It was too close to say I would have it for sure. One, two, three. Maybe I had it for sure. I mean, I saw it, right? But what if I was like one short? Blue just pisses away their troops. Yeah, so this is something that um, that uh, intermediate players will do, right? Is they'll over-attack in a way that doesn't actually benefit them. Mm -hmm. And purple is going to hit me, but in order to hit me meaningfully, they have to move through magenta. Which is why I didn't really keep any material in the middle of the board. I put it all back to my edges. Okay, Magenta gets eight troops. They break my eight. Do they? They are. They're going to go behind now. Nice. Good for Magenta. They're going to try and take this end. Yeah, but they don't push any further. Oh, they do. Nice. They're taking it. They're taking the pocket.
Okay, blue with a 10 set. Hits my six here. I think I should have just gone for the win. Yep, saw that one coming. He lost a 6v3. Yeah, it's, it's everyone team on peak time. That's okay, I got, I got uh, two bounties so far. You can see my percentage in the top left. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we got cards. Okay. Blue hits me here. Mm hmm. Then what happens? Purple starts fighting with blue. Blue sets in again. So blue is uh, classic over attacking. Once I could get into his region, I could probably kill him. He's super weak. See if purple fights with blue at all. Yes. Good. Purple is fighting blue now. Okay. Magenta gets eight troops. Magenta goes easy, take and pass. Right. And lines up to hit me.
to imagine if this stuff ended up in the chat overlay. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys are having fun. It seems super juvenile to me, but as long as you're enjoying yourself. And I'm the one to say that, right? With the fucking 10-year-old humor. Oh, 21! Okay, purple wins. Purple wins now. They can also sequence a kill, probably. They can kill blue, then win the game. Forty, forty-three, forty-five. Blue's dying. Pretty sure Blue's dying. <laughs> See him die. And death. Yeah. And not much more to clean out to get to seventy. That's game. Blue over attacked themselves to death. GG. So the lesson from this game is if you are a beginner, you must properly gauge how much you're going to attack because particularly in fixed, if you overextend, you leave yourself super weak. We're going to do a stretch, redeem, and then we're going to move into the q and A. I I do need to stretch after all of this. 70%. I'm feeling a little wound up, so. Oh, it's nice. It's nice to just take a minute and breathe and be with yourself. There's no rush and things you worry about tomorrow, things you think matter. That's the biggest lesson. Someone asked me, what lesson would you, t would you say to your younger self? And the lesson is how you feel. It doesn't matter as much as you think it does. We really get obsessed with our emotions, right? We think they're so real and they're so important. And you know what? To some extent they are, right? They are a feedback mechanism that we use to determine what's right for us, where our moral compass leads, but we can really get bogged down by worrying. It can become addictive. So that's the lesson, guys. Okay. Hmm. Did I miss any? Did I miss any redeems? You want to see some push ups? Okay, we can do push ups too. I just want to make sure I got everybody. Kilted Gando, did I get all the redeems? Why do I suck at Goldeneye? No, you suck at Goldeneye, brah. You may have answered and I missed. Do you think these settings at risking fourth place getting two bounties would be worth 12 points over possible third with no kills? Um, That is a context question. It really depends on where you're at in the game, right? If you're sure you're going to lose, go for the bounties, go for the points. But it's hard to be sure because you can't see all the board, right? So I'm going to make